Hey guys, Vincent Wynn here for Yanko Design. I happen to be in Shenzhen for a couple days to visit with some friends on holiday. And it so happens that Air Seeker's office is here in Shenzhen as well. So Wu, the CEO, asked me to see if I wanted to come by and check out one of their facility, uh, which is also their R&D center. Uh, they do have offices elsewhere in China as well. Guangdong is where they're doing all their manufacturing. Uh, there are other R&D facilities around as well, but today I'm going to give you a behind the scene look at where the magic behind Air Seekers Tron takes place. So let's flip the camera around and we'll just kind of walk around the office because I have free reign to uh, show you around. So let's do that. Okay, so welcome to Air Seekers headquarters in Shenzhen, where they're doing a lot of their R&D work here. So immediately, as you can see, this is where all the testing takes place, all the development, and we'll talk to that gentleman over there in a few minutes on uh, some of the new designs that they've changed in terms of improving the cutting of the grass as well. And today, we'll take a look at some interesting things on how Tron actually works and the application. We'll talk about RTK and how uh, there's now a hybrid version between Vision as well as using RTK for larger lawns. Check out this guy here. Like for this one, if you just want to cut it, like this is the standard. Cut, 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 cut. Yes. Uh. So this one, this layer of blade will cut it off at the first time, and then the uh the the grass has been cut. It the part uh will be shot into that these chambers here. Okay. And this chamber uh will to cut it like repeatedly to the tiny pieces. And this one will hold it to keep it up on the... And then you've got the fan yeah, and the sucking fans, it up yeah, as well up. here. Okay. Yes. And there was a special designed chamber will make the grass like be like just like moving. So where does that grass go once it's cut? Uh, once it's like uh, if the uh, grass size like already be cut it to the small piece. Small pieces. And this one. Yes. Like see here. Oh. Sorry. It just goes down. So, uh, so it goes like this. Yes, yes, like this. And when it's already finished, it will comes out here. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know you guys can't see it, but there is that blade underneath here. The blade will spin really fast, and it, what it will do is it will suck the grass into the space, raise, it's kind of like in a haircut or shaving, for example. So the grass will get sucked up thanks to this uh, blade under here. And then when it does that, it will get chopped off by these blades really sharp. And as you can see here, it's really nice because once these blades get dull, um, you can replace it relatively easy. And sitting here, watch the team put this together. Any components can be replaced relatively easy if something was wrong with Tron. So for that, I think that it's going to do really well in terms of repair repairability as well too. Okay, so the testing unit today has the double blade, right? Yeah, it looks like it has the double blade in there. input code. Ah, okay. You have to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> so this cable or this cable? Cable. Just be half, yeah. Okay. okay. Got it. And we also have the back camera. 
Oh, so, so that's when you deliver? Yeah, we need to oh. see the... Uh, you can see where is a okay. where's no more but got it. Yeah, got it. line of the mobile. Got it. So this, so this is the unit we're gonna be playing with today. Yeah, okay. okay. This unit and it's a table unit. So have to explain it. <laughs> This is pretty exciting. The team is putting together Tron for me right before my eyes today. And this is the unit we're gonna be testing out. So just in case you guys are wondering, these are the cables that uh, the team, the engineering team uses to burn the new hard, uh, I'm sorry, the burn, to burn the new firmware in, the, the USB hub. And then there, this is the rear, so it's gonna have a camera as well to see where it has been mowed and where it hasn't. Just, Just making sure everything works. works. Yeah. So this is the USB cable where the engineering team, uh, well, the R&D and engineering used to update firmware, making Tron one of the most advanced robot lawnmower anywhere because it's always constantly updated with the latest uh, firmware, making it really smart. Remarkable one, this is a remarkable, removable battery. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a removable battery. Hey guys, so this is the Air Seekers Tron that I'm going to snag from the team with all the R&D engineering testing goodies and we're going to take this out and we're going to test it in Shenzhen somewhere where there's lots of grass and we're going to try mowing it and then I'm going to walk it through, train it, teach it and then just give you guys a first-hand look at how the app works as well too. So let's do it.